Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to install and configure iOS 8 on Windows Server 2012 by Sachin Sami powered by tech.ptechrise.com Ok, this is a Windows Server 2012 machine. Let's log on to a server using an administrative rights. Ok, once you have logged in, the server manager will automatically open. If the server manager does not open automatically, you can also open the server manager by clicking on this icon. Once the server manager is open, go to manage. Here you will find add roles and features. You can also open the add roles and feature wizard by clicking here. Once the add roles and feature wizard is open, okay, click next. Once you have clicked next, select the first option role based or feature based installation click next select the first option select the server from the server pool as I only have one server in my server pool which is my local server I will select the my local server and click next here I will select web server IIS and then I will select add features and now I will click next as the website which I am hosting is based on .NET Framework 3.5 I will also select .NET Framework 3.5 and then I will click on next here some important information has been given Now click next. Here select the appropriate modules for your IS. As the I will select all of the modules because in our next tutorials we will going to tell you about all of the each of the modules which are in the IS server 8. Okay, let me select this one also and this one too. Click on add features and click next. Okay, I will select this box so it will automatically restart the residential server if required. Now I click on install. Now as you can see, it is installing all of the components which I have selected here it is showing starting installation as you can see on the progress bar the installation is right now happening it will take 5 or 10 minutes depending on the processing power of your server as you can see here the installation has been succeeded I will close this Okay, I will click on IIS on the side menu and here you, you will see the IIS is running as you can see here the IIS admin service now from tools I will open the IIS manager internet information service manager As you can see, the IS manager has been open. I will click on the drop down menu. I will just click yes. As you can see, the default website. I will just browse the, browse the default website and it will open the page of IIS 8. Okay, let's add this one. This is the enhanced security of Windows Server 2000 
12 and 8 okay as you can see the default page of is 8 let me close this let me add this one okay close close okay okay close this one too thank you for watching our this tutorial this tutorial is presented by tech.vtechdrive.com Thank you for watching our this tutorial. This tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami, powered by tech.pdgrass.com. If you like this tutorial, do give the thumbs up. Thank you.